Officer Don Davis Jones of the North Charleston Police Department in South Carolina always thought his job had clear boundaries. When he finished his shift, his duties were done. But sometimes, life mixes personal time with work responsibilities. This belief changed one summer evening when he volunteered at a local church, not realizing that this ordinary moment would lead to something extraordinary. The church was a place Jones knew well, giving him a sense of community and purpose. People appreciated his presence there, as he often helped with events and made sure everyone felt safe. On this day, an older church member, who had been attending for years, asked him if he would walk her to her car after the service. It was a simple request and Jones was happy to help. The evening was calm and the parking lot was dimly lit by street lights that created long shadows on the ground. As they walked, the silence felt peaceful. It was a quiet night with nothing unusual happening. However, as they got closer to her car, the woman suddenly stopped. Her expression wasn't one of fear, but rather curiosity, as if she had heard something surprising. Jones, always alert, stopped next to her. Did you hear that? She asked. Her question made him more aware, and he listened closely to their surroundings. In the quiet of the night, he could barely hear a faint, high-pitched sound. It was distant but steady, though he couldn't tell where it was coming from. His training as an officer taught him to look into any possible danger, but this noise felt different. It wasn't the usual sounds of the city, like car alarms or people talking. This was softer and more urgent. The woman, noticing his concern, looked toward a nearby dumpster at the edge of the parking lot. Jones followed her gaze and shone his flashlight in that direction. The beam of light pierced the darkness and revealed a small, trembling figure. It took Jones a moment to understand what he was seeing, but when he did, it touched something deep inside him. By the dumpster stood a tiny kitten, only a few weeks old, with dirty, matted fur and wide, fearful eyes. When the kitten realized it was seen, it ran toward him as fast as its little legs could go, though it seemed unsteady on the rough pavement. As the kitten got closer, its cries grew louder. Jones bent down and instinctively reached out to pick up the small creature. The kitten, though fragile, didn't resist. It settled into the crook of his elbow, looking relieved to find comfort after what must have been a scary experience. Looking at the kitten with its eyes reflecting his flashlight, Jones felt a strong urge to protect it. With the kitten in his arms, Jones assured the woman he would take care of it. He gently placed the kitten in the front seat of his car and laid down an old jacket for it to lie on. The drive home was quiet and the kitten rested peacefully as if it knew it was finally safe. When they got to his apartment, Jones made a temporary bed for the kitten using a blanket he found in his closet. He wasn't sure how to take care of a kitten, but he tried his best, giving it some water and making it comfortable for the night. He spent the evening looking up local animal shelters, planning to bring the kitten to one the next day. After all, he had never had a pet before, and the thought of suddenly taking on such a responsibility felt overwhelming. The next morning, Jones took the kitten to the Charleston Animal Society. The staff there was kind and helpful, quickly taking the kitten in for a checkup. They cleaned it up, gave it the necessary vaccinations, and assured Jones that the kitten would be well cared for. At this point, Jones thought his role in the kitten's life was over. He had saved the kitten from danger and brought it to a place where it could find a new home. And that should have been the end of their story. But life often unfolds in unexpected ways, and this was no exception. While the shelter staff processed the kitten, one of them casually said, You should keep him. It was a lighthearted comment, more of a suggestion than a serious idea. Jones laughed it off at first, saying that he had never had a pet before and wasn't sure if he was ready for that kind of responsibility. The idea felt strange to him. How could he, a man who had dedicated his life to serving and protecting his community, suddenly be responsible for a small, helpless animal? After a moment of thinking, Jones made a surprising decision. He would adopt the kitten. He filled out the paperwork at the shelter, and just like that, the kitten was his. As he left the shelter, holding the kitten not as a temporary guest, but as a permanent part of his family, he felt a sense of fulfillment he didn't expect. Jones decided to name the kitten Tabby Richard Jones, giving it a full name to show its place in the family. Mornings now started earlier, not with the sounds of Jones's alarm, but with a gentle paw on his cheek and a soft meow. Tabby's way of saying, it's time to get up. Jones was never much of a morning person, but seeing Tabby's eager eyes made it easier to start the day. They soon had a new routine, 
Jones would make his coffee while Tabby patiently waited by his food bowl, watching until breakfast was served. The changes weren't just noticeable at home. At work, his colleagues saw it too. The once serious, always focused Jones seemed more relaxed, more at ease. He was still the reliable officer everyone depended on, but there was now a warmth in him that hadn't been there before. His fellow officers teased him about the kitten when he brought Tabby to the police station. It was just a quick stop to grab something from his desk, but as soon as Tabby appeared, he became the center of attention. The kitten, unfazed by the officers or the busy atmosphere, sat calmly in Jones's arms, curiously taking in the new environment. Damn, Jones, one of his colleagues joked, we've never seen this side of you, so wholesome. Jones couldn't deny it. Having Tabby in his life made everything feel a bit brighter. After each shift, when Jones came home, Tabby was always there waiting. The kitten seemed to know exactly when Jones would arrive, and without fail, he'd be sitting by the window or right inside the door, his tail flicking with excitement. It was a small greeting, but it brought Jones a deep sense of warmth. No matter how hard or stressful his day has been, seeing Tabby waiting for him made everything feel better. As the new year approached, Jones thought about how much had changed in just a short time. A few weeks ago, he was simply going through the motions, living day by day with his focus mostly on work. But now, with Tabby by his side, everything felt different. The future, once predictable, now seemed full of possibility. He didn't know what the next year would bring, but he knew one thing for sure. Tabby Richard Jones was here to stay. Jones had never planned on getting a pet, but now that Tabby was part of his life, he couldn't imagine things any other way. The bond they had formed through a moment of kindness and strengthened by their time together was something he treasured, and as they settled into their new routine, Jones knew that this unexpected chapter in his life was just the beginning. Now, it's over to you. What did you think of this amazing story? Let us know in the comments.